flight. Seven hours from Barcelona to Doha. Three and a half hours layover in Doha, and then around eight hours flight from Doha over to Hong Kong. We landed in Hong Kong at about four o'clock. We obviously missed the Hong Kong airport ferry, which is at five o'clock. So, the last time we went through Hong Kong and missed the airport ferry, we decided to try the Premier VIP service and we were quite impressed with it. It was very nice, very easy, very convenient and you really feel like a VIP. So I convinced my parents to try it again today. But so far, it's going very, very well. Oh, We've just had to wait for another hour because we can't get on the 6.30 ferry, so they have put us on the 7.30 ferry. And we are just about to leave Hong Kong airport. That person right ahead there, he has our bags, so we don't have to worry about our bags at all. We have just been exported through immigration, through customs, and now they are going to put us onto a private bus to take us over to Macau Ferry Terminal. I'm hoping the second time around would be as good, would be as good of a service as the first time because I really, really loved the level of service they had displayed the first time around. It is slightly more expensive. It's about 536 per person comparing to the direct Hong Kong airport ferry, which is about 200 and something. And comparing to the regular ferry, which would cost close to about $300 if you were to do it on your own, pick up your bags, get into town, and head over to the terminal yourself. So obviously that second option is a hassle, especially if you have just come off a long flight and you're very very tired and your bags are heavy. So I recommend this service. So let's see. Hi Graham. So those two agents are there to help us. And of course, the porter with our bags went into the lift without waiting for us. So the time check is currently 6.15. Once again, we are on the 7.30 Should be able to look at So we have just been asked to sit down here and wait. 6.15, they said that we should be able to board the bus at about 6.30. It feels good to be escorted by someone. Uh, forgive my voice, I think I'm about to come down with a fever. The apartment in Barcelona was so cold, but they only have centralized air conditioning. So if you switch it off, all of the rooms are affected, which means that nobody in the room has their aircon switched on. And if someone's feeling hot and they switch on the aircon, <laughs> then everyone in all of the rooms gets to feel the aircon as well. Obviously, everyone in the apartment that we rented has very, very different body temperature. I myself get cold easily, so that's not a good thing. But like my uncle and my dad, they all get hot very easily. So at one point, I had to wake up and switch off the aircon because it was like at 20 degrees. And man, that was, I felt really, really cold. I've been having the sniffles and I think it's starting to be over. So yes, this service is also working in my favor because to be honest, I don't want to be bothered with the hassle of going to the Hong Kong ferry terminal from the Hong Kong airport and obviously dragging my own bags. All right, I'm gonna switch this off for a bit and then I shall resume this again when they call us back. Our bus has just arrived, so we are now about to go and get home. Oh, 
happening with all of this? We have another massive bus all to ourselves. Yeah. Oh, gosa, gosa, gosa. Oh, a large private bus. Okay. All right. Wow, I'm so 
part of my this tonight. Considering how every time we come down here, it's always very noisy and very, very loud, full of chatter, full of unruly people. I told you about the first window. Thank you. We still have to pass through immigration, get into the car, and it's probably gonna take about like 15 or 15 20 minutes to get back home. Was that us? Sorry, find out what? Was that us? Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, okay. What do we do? So go to the information. Okay. Then turn right side the luggage department, take the luggage. Okay, alright, we'll take it. We have to go to baggage claim. Hmm. Rival? Here you go. What did you say, rival channel? Imaginary. Rival channel? Okay, so 
and I'm just so happy I don't have to drag my own bags. I mean, those bags are quite heavy. Two of the green bags are at least 23 kg each, and then three bags combined are about 60 kg. So this is the Macau Ferry Terminal. So excited to be back on home soil. Never thought I'd say that. I don't know. This trip just felt a little bit rushed. I think like. What, how many days did you spend here? Like 9 or 10 days? I know, I just felt a bit rushed. It was the first time I was really traveling with everyone. Ooh, that is our van. That's our van. Look at that. Very smart looking van. See how seamless everything is. I really, really recommend this service if you're traveling with a lot of people or if you're traveling with elderly people like my folks. My dad cannot drag heavy bags anymore. But um, yeah, I don't need it. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Nearly there. Oh. 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 Tired. No, you're not. A little bit. Finally, we are home. Here I am with my tired face and sickly face I might add. I think I'm really gonna get sick. That yeah, is the me. van that we have. So it says Torbo Jet and right now the driver is helping us get our luggage from the back of the van. I'm gonna have to tip him a little bit. So this is my neighborhood. I'm pretty sure some of you remember this neighborhood right here. Gosh I'm so tired. So we landed at about 4 o'clock in Hong Kong and it is now 9 o'clock Macau time. So from Hong Kong over to Macau it took us 5 hours to get just from Hong Kong airport over to our apartment right here. So it's a little bit tiring and long. I never thought I'd say this but glad to be home. Um, if you guys are traveling with a large group or with elderly people or with people who cannot walk very well or cannot carry their own bags, I really, really recommend this service. It's 536 per person, but as you can see, you know, it is pretty much seamless. You know, from Hong Kong Airport right down to our apartment over here. Let me just go over to take a... Hey! 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 Okay, so that is us. I am quite happy with the service. My parents didn't have to lift anything, so I'm quite happy with that. I didn't have to lift anything. I'm a princess, so... <laughs> Alright, I shall talk to you guys again later. Goodbye! I've been gone for what 10 days to be honest I don't really expect any mail because I did ask the post office to hold on to uh oh looks like there is some mail ah okay look at that well you know I initially wasn't expecting any mail but because oh that's a nice one look at that it's from Satsuki okay so that's my mailbox unbelievable so I was gone for like 10 days I told my post office look could you hold on to my mail for these few dates because I don't want my mail poking out of this hole like it did with Satsuki's mail and I told him look just hold on to the mail for me you know and I'll just come and pick them up in the post office but I guess that's just Macau for you you know they just oh my god they just don't listen to instructions very well they just don't know what to do oh my god Okay, now that's a little bit upsetting <laughs> that the postal lady that I am actually really really good friends with well I suppose that there could be a little bit of a miscommunication between her and whoever she relayed the information to but that is a little bit disappointing but she didn't follow the instructions very well well but then at the same time disappointing or not I did get all these mails so <laughs> and a gas bill that's my gas bill right there okay. So I'm not really too sure if I should be disappointed or not because I mean, you know, coming home to a huge pile of mail is always good but then again, seriously guys, you know, I told you guys to hold on to my mail for those days that I'm away but you didn't but I suppose once again, you know, that's Macau for you some Macau locals just don't know how to handle instructions very well obviously I'm happy to be coming home to a huge stack of mail but still, I'm just, again <laughs> post office. I wrote the instructions down for you guys. Come on.
Okay. Alright, so that is me with my mail. <laughs> well, this is a good end to a holiday. All those lovely pieces of mail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And a gas bill. Let's see how much the gas bill is. 312. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, so that's all the mail that I have received during the time I've been away. Goodbye. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. It would make me very happy. And that could also be your good deed for the day. I shall see you guys again in the next vlog. In the meantime, feel free to watch a couple of my other videos. Goodbye!